Hey friends, Paul here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about some really cool metal detecting finds that I've found in Maine through the years, particularly the Brown Bess, the British Brown Bess Musket Ball, which is right here. So let's take a closer look. So these finds were all found in around the vicinity of Portland and Falmouth, Maine. Um, whose history goes back to really the 1600s. Um, I'll, I'll show you this really cool Victorian ring with mother of pearl here. This is absolutely beautiful. Look at that nice detailing. So that's a really beautiful find. Yeah, too bad it's broken, but that was a cool metal detecting find. This is a very old button. This could be uh, Civil War era, perhaps Revolutionary War era button. If any of you have any intel on this, please post your comments below. Uh, no markings on this one, but I have found other uh, Civil War buttons in the past, and it looks very similar to that. Very old button. Also, this is a very peculiar piece here. See the threading in there? It's a it's a lead. It's a pewter. This is very heavy. It's a leaded or pewter top to screw into, I don't know, if, uh, let's say, yeah, there's, it goes right through there. That would have hung on a lanyard of some sort. Maybe this had, maybe this contained black powder for firing. I'm not really sure. But again, if you have any intel on that, very heavy. And I found that um, on the ocean or the bay side on the beach. So I find a lot of cool things along the beach like that. And I found this smaller diameter ball here. This is 0.4 inches. Um, not really sure about this one, uh, what this would have been, what kind of gun this would have been fired out of. But if you have any intel on this 0.4 inch lead ball, the thing is, I, this is much newer. I found this very close to this spot where I found this one on the beach along the shore. And it's a spot where there was um, Civil War uh, training going on. I know that for a fact. So this could be Civil War era. But the real piece de la resistance that... I want to show today is this huge British Brown Bess musket ball. Different than the French musket, which would be about 0.6 inches diameter. This is a full 0.7 inch, three quarters of an inch diameter, you can see right there. And it's most definitely been fired and most definitely hit something. I found this in the woods in Falmouth, Maine, one of the earlier development settlements in Maine. And the British Brown Bess dates from the musket dates from 1722 to 1860. So this is pre-Civil War, most likely, and perhaps Revolutionary War. The British Brown Bess was used by both the British and the Continental Army. Now, as far as my research goes, there were no, um, well, except like up in Machias, Maine, there was an, the first naval battle of this Revolutionary War. But at least in Falmouth, I'm not aware of any direct confrontations between the colonists and the British. So I'm assuming that this would have been sh shot um, from a musket owned perhaps by a British colonist in Maine, for example, or, you know, perhaps uh, during, um, perhaps in maybe an Indian attack, Indian raids, and, and Falmouth, Maine definitely has a history of that as well, or it could have just been used um, hunting. Again, it was deep in the woods, kind of in a slough of, uh, of a sandy area in a hemlock uh, pine forest, and I found this kind of like in a wash, in a wash, in a sandy wash in the woods, and it was not that far down. So there's a lot of game back there, deer, for example. And th that was my initial thought, was that this was used in hunting. And it definitely hit 
I believe, some bone of an animal there. I mean, that is really squashed. And just look at how beefy this thing is of the British brown bass, 0.7 inch. That's a full 0.7 inch diameter lead ball. Metal detecting is a great hobby. And especially when it's historical uh, artifacts like this and then researching them, you know, just lends a lot more insight into the history of your area. So be sure to subscribe and check back again because there's always something eclectic going on in this channel. And thanks for watching. Happy New Year.